Chancellor Carranza breaking the news to principals first in this letter, stating the second wave of coronavirus is here. And as of this morning, the city has hit the 3% seven-day rolling average threshold on the nose, and schools will be temporarily shut down starting Thursday. But those numbers don't match the state, with the governor saying New York City is up 2.5% and schools would not close. But much to his surprise, the chancellor alerted principals to the shutdown. So the mayor's saying it hit 3%. The city's top doc explaining the math. Based on the date that a test is taken, rather than the date that we learn about the result from the test. This becomes particularly important when we are seeing an increase in cases as we are right now because it allows us to see the trends over time. An important note constantly mentioned by the city and state officials, the problem is not in schools with remarkably low positive cases. Out of 140,000 students and staff tested, 308 came back positive. This shutdown will force 300,000 students enrolled in blended learning to go all remote. Parents now have the burden to figure out child care and at-home virtual instruction. But thousands of children still don't have devices, with lapses in Wi-Fi making learning at home a major challenge. And the DOE technology is on back order. So that number is closer to about 60,000 devices that we know in the orbit of students that have said they need a device. And again, we've ordered uh, a little over 100,000 devices to be able to be prepared to meet that need. The teachers union happy with this decision to close schools, honoring their original agreement, is now debating how to reopen schools. The head of the teachers union, Michael Mulgrew, saying we shouldn't consider any options until we see a downward citywide trend for seven to 10 days. The mayor, not not elaborating on specifics of reopening, but testing will increase. When we reopen, uh, everyone who comes into that uh, school building, all the kids have to have a testing consent on file. The mayor says he is in discussions with the state on how to reopen. Of course, the question from so many today was, why wasn't that plan in place when we knew this shutdown had been coming for days? That's the question from parents and also principals texting me right now as this news broke this afternoon, late this afternoon, I should point out. This whole thing is confusing and a mess for students and parents. Jumani Williams, the city's public advocate, saying with less than 16 hours notice for parents, this is a real disgrace. There are some exceptions. I want parents to note 3K pre-K and the Learning Bridges program will remain open even while schools are closed. We're live on the Upper West Side, Calorama, PIX11 News.